Gigi. Welcome back to my channel. You got my sidekick Donna Jean in the background. And did you hear a double echo? Because you got my other sidekick, Viviana. Viviana, where are you? There she is. There's Viv. She doesn't get in the videos very often. And Gus even, he was sunbathing in the other room and he came into this room. You just heard him barking. He's standing by the window. We'll see if we can get him in camera view in a second. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. Hope you're having a fantastic day. It's Jody Dunn. And I'm coming at you in my second CVS haul this week. So many amazing deals. My store got a new feature, so I was super duper excited. Oh, there's Gus. Let's see. Come here, Gus. Here's Gus for any of y'all that like to see Gus. Let me see if I can make Make him turn around now. <laughs> oh, now he's going to stand right next to me and lean on me and push me around. Uh, so anyways, I was excited to get into the store today um, with the new, uh, they got a self-checkout machine. I'm just going to tell you, they got a self-checkout machine. I love the self-checkout machine at the other store. Um... Like, it's fine that my regular store got one, but I love the cashiers and the managers so much. I don't know if I'll use it a whole ton. But if you have cashiers that maybe just aren't super friendly or don't like coupons, self-checkout loves your coupon. So that is a great option if you have it. I know not all stores have that yet. Linked in the description box and on the playlist section of the channel, there is a whole tutorial, a whole series for CVS. It walks you through being a brand new couponer, just starting a CVS account, when you would expect to start getting CRTs, um, how to work out deals, how I plan my deals out every week, how I plan my shopping out at CVS. And there is an awesome video in there with CVS hacks that really walks you through how to match up CRTs, which ones go together, which ones do not, all of that good stuff, along with a self-checkout demonstration. I show you exactly how to use self-checkout. So if you have any questions at all about CVS, literally it is the ultimate guide, it is the only thing you need to learn CVS. Go ahead and check that out if you have questions. All right, we are going to head into CVS and see what we are going to pick up today for our second haul. If you enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so, so much. And uh, that's it. Let's let's head into the star. Woo! All right, we're back in CVS for round two. And guess what? My store got a dang self-checkout machine. OMG, just one. It got installed yesterday, I think. So, you know I'm going to be playing with that thing a little bit. All right, just like we do every haul, we're going to start off with a nice little money maker. Uh, the Gillette and Venus. They're on promotion again, like for the sixth or seventh week. This week, it is buy two, earn back a $10 extra buck, and my store has the $9.99. They do not have the $9.99 Venus, haven't had those in forever, but they do have the $9.99 Gillette razors. So these two total me $19.98. I have one lonely coupon left. Yes, my store takes expired coupons. So I'm going to use one $3 coupon. I have a $3 off Gillette CRT, a $5 off when I purchase two Gillette CRT, and a $5 off when I spend $20 on Gillette or any shave needs. That's going to bring me down to $3.98, earning back a $10 extra buck, making these a $6.02 money maker. All right, next up, we're going to do the Vaseline deal. I actually was going to mix the Vaseline deal in with the Dove body wash deal because uh, it's on the same promotion of spend 12, earn back a $4 extra buck. But the Shopkick rebate went away for the Dove. So sad. So I'm just going to go ahead and spend 12 in Vaseline lotion. So I'm going to grab this big one at $7.99 and this small one at $4.79. So these two total me $12.78. I thought I had a digital coupon, but I must have used it on this account earlier in the month. But that's okay. We're going to still go with this. I have this $3 printable from coupons.com that's no longer available that I'm going to use. And I have this CRT for $2 off when I spend eight on Vaseline lotion. 
If you do have the digital coupon, it will glitch with the paper coupon. But I'll be left to pay $7.78, earning back a $4 extra buck. So a cost of $1.89 each, and both of these track towards beauty. Uh, we're going to grab our free hand sanitizer. This account got the free hand sanitizer CRT. I'm going to grab this big 33 ounce that is on clearance for $4.49. And I'm gonna use this free CRT. So free hand sanitizer works for me. And of course I will do this in its own separate transaction. All right, my store still is not tagged on a Wednesday, which is kind of odd, but that's okay. Uh, the CoverGirl is on promotion for buy any two, earn back a $6 extra buck. I'm gonna mix it up this time. I'm gonna grab this clean blast, lash blast mascara for $10.99. And then I'm going to grab one of these face powders for $8 and I think it's 49 cents. Nope, $8.69. So the mascara and the powder is going to total me $19.68. I have two app-only coupons for the mascara for $1 off and for $0.75 cents off. Then I'm going to use these two $3 paper coupons. Plus I have the $3 instant coupon that everybody got this week. And I have a $6 off when I spend 20 on CoverGirl. That will bring me down to $2.93, earning back a $6 extra buck, making these free plus a $3.07 money maker. All right, next little money maker, we're going to move on to the L'Oreal deal, which is buy any two. I think it's buy any two. If it's not, I'll pop it up on the screen. Uh, earn back a $6 extra buck. OMG, my brain. <laughs> So we're gonna go for some mascara here. We're gonna grab one of these mascaras that is priced at $11.99. And these will track towards the free mascara program where if you buy, I think it's if you buy four L'Oreal mascara, you get the fifth free in the form of a CRT. And I'm gonna grab this one for $9.29. So these two total me $21.28. I'm gonna go ahead and use these coupons that I have not used yet that are no longer available to print for $3 off of each one. Then I'm gonna use the $3 instant coupon we all got today, and I got a $7 off when you spend 21 on L'Oreal Cosmetics. Never seen that one before. That'll bring me down to $5.28 for these two mascaras, earning back a $6 extra buck, making them free plus a 72 cent money maker. All right, next up, let's grab a little freebie. I don't need this. I'm not even sure I know anybody that needs it, but as soon as I think that, somebody asks, hey, do you have this? So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. This Efferdent is $6.99, and it is giving back a $5 extra buck when you purchase one. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, and I'm gonna use this $2 off paper coupon. You can always search coupontom.com to find out what inserts coupons come from. So I'll pay $4.99, get back a $5 extra buck, making it totally free. All right, I got my Care Pass, which is a free $5. I'm gonna spend it on some laundry products. So we are going to do the spend $30, earn a $10 cash card, and I am gonna do all laundry products. I am so excited about this. So first thing we're gonna grab is the Tide is included. Uh, the smaller ones or the um, the bigger ones, the 46 ounce. I'm going to grab the 46 ounce. They are on sale for $5.94. So are the 37 ounce. So I'm grabbing two of the uh, 46 ounce at $5.94. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab two of the Tide Pods that are on sale for $4.94 this week. So I'm grabbing two of the 16 counts. And then I'm going to grab two of the Bounce Dryer Sheets, the 80 count. That is on sale for $4.94 each this week. So these six laundry products are going to total me $31.64. I'm going to go ahead and use the expired laundry coupons since my store takes them. Two off the Tide Pods, two off the Tide Liquids, and then I have two of them off of the Bounce Dryer Sheets. So that's gonna bring me down to $20.64. But remember, I have my Care Pass, so another $5 in free product, and I'm gonna earn back a $10 cash card. That makes my cost $5.64 for all six of these laundry products, or 94 cents each. But we had some other moneymakers that's gonna eat up this cost. 
All right, next deal is on the AccuView, and I'm just kind of doing this because maybe I'll start getting CRTs if I start buying products like this. It's on sale for 25% off, so this bottle is normally $11.99, so it's gonna ring up for $8.99 at 20% off. And when you buy one, it is giving back a $3 extra buck. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this for $8.99 and I'm gonna use a $5 coupon off this. So I'll pay $3.99, earn back a $3 extra buck, making my cost 99 cents. Super fantastic deal if this is a product you actually use. All right, next up, we're gonna do the Garnier deal. Uh, it's on promotion for buy any two, earn back a $5 extra buck. I'm only doing it because I don't have any of these in my stockpile and I kind of want to try them. Let me know if you've ever tried the makeup remover wipes with charcoal. So they are $6.99 each. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of these. I don't have any manufacturer coupons, but I did receive a CRT for buy one, get one free. It doesn't attach to all the Garnier products, but it does attach to these. So I'll pay $6.99 for these two and earn back a $5 extra buck, plus it tracks towards beauty. All right, I did this on Monday. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this card as well. The Cetaphil is buy one, get one 40% off, no extra bucks coming back. So these are $9.29 each. So two of them are gonna total me $14.86. I'm gonna go ahead and use two paper coupons on these for $2 off each. And then I have a couple of CRTs to make these super duper cheap. So I have a uh, $5 off when you buy two Cetaphil products and a $3 off when you spend 15. So that'll bring me down to just 286 for both of these. And it tracks towards beauty. All right, I've been playing around with the self-checkout machine. I think I did like three transactions. Like I've never used self-checkout before. I totally have. But I wanted to test it out at this store. So the last thing I'm going to pick up is some Just the Basics water. Uh, they're on sale for $2.99 each, so I'm gonna grab two of them. Why not use the store's fake money to buy them when I would be buying these at the grocery store anyways? So two are gonna total me $5.98. Have these two CRTs, two off two and $1 off when I spend five on beverages. So that'll bring that down to just $2.98 for both. All right, I had one issue with one coupon not wanting to work, so I'll go over that with you. Let's head to the kitchen table and see how everything worked out. All right, we are back at the kitchen table with our second CVS haul. Look at all that laundry, so excited. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of good stuff today. I'm pretty pleased with this haul. Like I said, I was like a kid in the candy store playing with the dang self-checkout machine. Uh, I broke it. Like, literally yesterday was the first day, or last night they installed it. So today was the first day um, that the store had it. <laughs> so I was like, let me test this out and see how it's going to work. I will tell you. I just like going to the cashier a little bit better. This store is so awesome and I love the cashiers and they're so fantastic to work with and so is the manager. Um, Cause I don't like to do too big of transactions at self-checkout, it probably would be fine, but I just break them up into smaller ones. So I did make a little mistake here because I had separated so many dang transactions. I'll tell you what I did. So first thing I did to test this dang machine out was I thought, let me just do my hand sanitizer. <laughs> so I do my hand sanitizer, I scan my CRT, it prints my coupon, or it prints my receipt, and then it says assistance is on the way. So the manager comes over, he scans his card. I'm like, I think it's because I got this for free. I said it printed my receipt. It took him a minute to figure it out. Um, and then finally he's like, oh yeah, it must've been because you had a zero total. And I was like, yeah, I think so. So there's my hand sanitizer, rang up for $4.49 and my CRT took off $4.49. So I paid nothing, it printed out my receipt um, with just a bunch of CRTs on it, no extra bucks coming back. So then I did at self-checkout, I had my $10 care pass. So I've actually never used that at self-checkout before. So I was just testing things out 
And so there you go. I got two of, I got one Tide Pods and I got two of the Liquid Tides. Used three $2 coupons and then the system asks you if you want to use your Care Pass. Now it does ask you right when you start to pay before you type in coupons. I didn't want it taking my Care Pass before coupons. Probably wouldn't have mattered. But anyways, it also gives you, if you say no, because I said no, it gives you another option um, when you're getting ready to pay. So mm -hmm. there you go. And I get have people ask me all the time, can I use expired coupons at self-checkout? Yes, they work the exact same way as they do at the cashier. CVS's system will take them. So I did these all at self-checkout, used my care pass and paid 82 cents. I used mm -hmm. a CVS cash card to pay at self-checkout. Um, all you do is swipe the card on the pin pad and then a little option will come up on the pin pad of what type of payment you are using. You type in CVS cash card and then it will make you enter the three digit code that is on the back of the card. So you have to scratch this part off, okay? Um, and then that went through just fine. So got nothing from this because I hadn't spent my 30 yet, but it did start tracking towards my spend 30 right there. All right. That seems like it tracked a lot. Oh, because that was the second transaction. I think I did. All right. Then I did another transaction at self-checkout where I got my bounce dryer sheets, my Tide Pods, and the Effordent. So I had two $2 coupons off the laundry items and or $2 coupon off the Tide Pods and $1.50 off the bounce and two dollars off the effort. I used a ten dollar care pass. Had a subtotal of one thirty seven. Again, used my CVS cash card to pay. And then the last transaction I did at self checkout was uh, my bounce dryer sheets. My last one, my AccuView that rang up for eight ninety nine twenty um, percent off, twenty five percent off, and then my two Cetaphils. So I used a $1.50 coupon off the bounce, my $5 off the AccuView, both of my $2 off the C to fill, had my $5 off two C to fill, and my $3 off when you spend 15 on C to fill and used a $10 extra buck to pay. Had a subtotal of 29 cents on this one. And I did earn back my $3 um, coupon for the AccuView. And then I did forget to show you I also earned my $5 coupon for the effort at my $5 extra buck. And also ripped off my $10 coupon for the uh, cash card. This cashier, I love her. She's super sweet. She's the only one that doesn't realize you can add money to an existing um, cash card. So I just don't, like, I don't argue with I've asked her like five times. I'm like, can we just add this to a, an existing one? She's like, nope, we can't do that. <laughs> so it's fine. All the rest of them do it and they know how to do it. She doesn't. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to be that person that says, well, actually, yes, you can. And here's how you do it. I just let her do her thing. This store is so amazing to me. So I got an, another dang card. <laughs> I'm trying to condense them into just two cards. All right. So then I wanted to do just everything else. I didn't want to keep separating transactions and Gus is going to bark. So I went ahead and went to the cash register with my water, my Vaseline. I did swap out from regular to men's. Um, I grabbed the Garnier, the CoverGirl, the L'Oreal, and the Gillette. This is the, the um, transaction I made a mistake on. I forgot that I had already done the Cetaphil in one of my self-checkout transactions and I added extra bucks to this transaction to pay for my Cetaphil, but it ended up working out okay. Um, and I'll tell you why, because I had a coupon that did not work. So there are my two waters. There's my uh, small Vaseline, the two Garnier makeup remover wipes, my large Vaseline. There's my CoverGirl face powder, my L'Oreal Mascara, the two Gillettes, my CoverGirl um, Mascara, and then my other L'Oreal Mascara. So coupons that I used, my $3 off the two Vaseline, my $3 off one CoverGirl face product, my $3 off of 
two three dollar off of the Gillette and my three dollar off now I forget oh I had two three dollars off of the um L'Oreal as well one of my three dollar off the CoverGirl the mascara it beeped it would not work on this I happen to have, because I had just cut my CoverGirl coupons this morning, we have a $2 coupon that says for clean makeup. So I'm guessing this is one of their clean line makeup since it says Lash Blast Clean. Probably if I would have grabbed one of the other Lash Blasts, it would have worked just fine. Um, so when it beeped, I said, that's weird. And she said, well, let's set that one aside for a second. And I said, try this one. And I handed over the $2 off the clean and that scanned just fine. So the regular $3 I CoverGirl coupon does not work on the clean mascara. Did not know that. Now I know. So that was that $2 coupon. Um, there's my buy one, get one free. And then all of the rest of my CRTs came off just fine that I already showed you in the store. My two app only coupons off the CoverGirl mascara are getting ready to expire. These can only be accessed through the app and you just send them right to your card. So I sent them to my card today. They both came off. Went ahead and used extra bucks to pay. This $194 was a $2 extra buck that got lowered down since I handed over about $2.60 more than I should have because I was thinking I was adding the C to fill to this transaction. But because of that CoverGirl coupon, the $3 one not working and me swapping it for the $2, it kind of made up for it. So I just had a subtotal of zero. Paid my tax with my gift card. And then what I earned back was $5 for the Garnier, $4 for the Vaseline, $6 for the CoverGirl, $6 for the L'Oreal, and $10 for the uh, Gillette. So in total... I grabbed $160 in product we got right here. Uh, I used $51 in extra bucks to pay for all of this, plus had subtotals between all those transactions of $2.48. And then I also used my Care Pass, which only cost me $5, so I only count it as $5. So total cost of all of this was $58.48. We earned back $39 in extra bucks today plus my $10 cash card. So $49 earned for all of this. And I spent $82.58 towards beauty. And I was already tracking just a little bit, but enough that it kicked me over getting another extra or another beauty buck. So within 48 hours, I will earn back three beauty bucks. So $9. So earned 49 today plus nine in beauty means we earned $58 in CVS money from this transaction that cost $58.48. <laughs> so close to a freebie. $160 worth of product cost us 48 dang cents. I got two cases of water. I got six laundry products. I am totally pleased with 48 dang cents. So there you go. That's what I got for you on the second CVS haul. This one was a ton of fun. I love it when I can grab different products even if they're not products that I'm necessarily going to use, like the effort in. I've never, ever couponed for that before. So that excites me that I got some free effort in. I'll probably just donate it because I don't know. I don't know who will use it, but you never know. So there you go. If you enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you. And I'd love to hear what deals you snagged at CVS this week. If you would like to share them down in the comments, feel free to do so. I hope you have a great day. I'm going to see you again soon. Bye.